<clears throat> so I am lucky enough to have as a guest on this coffee with Carl, Eugenia. <laughs> Please say your name for the record. Eugenia. Eugenia. No. Au. Not even close. Okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> you're here <laughs> from Argentina, so yes. we're going to do a coffee with Carl. Special edition. Never, ever had a guest before. And as a matter of fact, it's not even coffee at all. We're no, not even going to drink coffee. coffee. With Carl, no. Well, I mean, I'm here. So the Carl was right. That worked. But the coffee's not. No. What are we drinking? Mate. Ma mate. Mate with Carl. <laughs> mate with Eugenia. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll have to start a whole separate channel. So we have this here. I have never, today is the first day I've ever seen this before in my entire life. And we're going to make it on camera. You're going to make it. Okay. More just so that I can reference back so I know how to make it because I can watch you make it. It's no time for mate. There, so anytime. Anytime. Just before dinner, mm -hmm. when you wake up, mm -hmm. whenever you want. Mate, it's okay. Wow. It's a, and this is a very... It's like a cigarette for us. Yeah. Okay. All right. But it's a pretty it's a, big part of the culture, too. I mean, like, this is something that everybody will be drinking. Yes. Not just in Argentina, in Chile, too, in Uruguay, and in Paraguay. It's South American. In Brazil, too. Gotcha. It's I'm just from South America. I love it. Love mm -hmm. it. Awesome. Let's dig okay. in. This is cool. All right. So we got our hot water. 170 yeah. some odd degrees. We actually don't open use it so a coffee bit? machine. We use a thermo, like a bottle that, that keep the water hot. Okay. Just that. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, more comfortable to carry. You carry around hot water of to course. refill your mate? <laughs> really? <laughs> and w when we are in the car? Yeah. We like share. But, but because mate is for sharing. Okay. Okay. It's so you have like to get coffee. angry at me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I will show you. This is a bombilla. It's like a um, cane. How do you say it in English? I don't remember the name. It looks like a pipe. Pipe, but. Ah! It's like a pipe, but. Yeah, in one extreme is with holes. Mm -hmm. Because we have the sherba. Mm -hmm. And there are leaves, and if you don't, if you don't have these these little holes, you drink the sherba. Oh, uh, you don't want to drink sherba. So it strains it out, right? Oh, it okay. acts as like a filter. Okay, like a filter. Mm -hmm, exactly. Mm -hmm. It does look like a pipe. I have a pipe over there if you would like one. A pipe. Yeah, you no, know the no. tobacco. <laughs> okay, all right. Listen, that's that's fine. Well, <laughs> well, that looks. I put yeah, okay, yeah, that's perfect. So we found them out there. I love this that. That is the coolest thing in the world. Yeah. I've good. never seen anything like that before in my entire yeah. life. It shows you how Americanized I am <laughs> and how un I'm an uncultured swine. Well, you're, you're from here. I, I'm from there. I, that's true. <laughs> I, we got a little bit of that here today. Mm -hmm, exactly. Well, this is a pumpkin. This is the traditional one. Mm -hmm. you, you have uh, ceramic ones, metal ones, um, made of wood. Yeah. This one is... The traditional one is a pumpkin, and this is leather. Yeah, I love okay. it. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, so we have the sherba. Yeah. I will open it. This is organic. Sher <laughs> it's yerba made. Yerba. Yerba, no, no. It's, well, in Argentina, <laughs> we, we, we use a lot of sh, sh, yo me llamo. Yeah, yeah. Yo me llamo, okay. Not all the countries that speak Spanish speak like that. Argentinos speak quite different. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I use a lot of dish. <laughs> <laughs> Buenos Aires, by the way. So that, well, like... actually, you know, Polish is the same way. If you were to listen to Polish as a language, there's a lot of the sh, sh, sh type really? sounds. Oh, a lot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, in, in Buenos Aires, not the every province of Argentina. Mm, okay. Oh, more in Buenos Aires than, than any other part. Yeah, I'm a porteña. Mm. Porteña is the people who live in, in Buenos Aires. Gotcha. Yeah, I do. So you said it's very important to put ah, it in okay. on an angle, explain. right? Yeah, it's, we have rules. Okay, <laughs> yeah, all right, well, clearly. So <laughs> I didn't realize how important this is. Is that, that you have to put the, to put the sherba in diagonal. Mm -hmm. And the, the bombilla, well, some people I don't do that. Because I don't know, I'm lazy sometimes. <laughs> you do that like this, and mm -hmm. you have a powder and. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh <-huh. laughs> okay, so in diagonal, very important. The bombilla 
No, some people put a bit of cold water, just a bit, mm -hmm. and put the bombilla then. So it's like that. Okay. So you're the kind diagonal. of digging it down into the bottom of where that angle is. I need your help to translate All right, yeah, I the, will, the phrasal verbs I, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I, I will narrate this for you. Okay. Okay. So All right. We, yep. we both explain. <laughs> how you <make> it <laughs> so you put in diagonal and the hot water is here. Okay. Not here. Okay. So you, you're pouring the hot water in the low part okay. of the... Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, we got it. We got okay, it. Yeah. Together we will prevail. We got this. Okay. We got this. Uh, and you always have to have some dry sherba in the top. On the top. Okay. 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 Why? So. so so you don't want to pour water in all the way up. You want to pour it in no, so you no, have no. a little bit. No, I will bit. explain. Okay. Okay. okay, all right. So okay. you have sherba. Some people put sugar in it. I hate uh, putting sugar in the mate. The traditional way is just... Sherba. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Sherba and water. So we're going, we're going traditional. Yeah. I love it. Everything traditional. Cool. So you put water here. I'm not sure if it is very too hot. And you have to wait. And a bit more. So it kind of blooms and then it settles back down. Yeah. Okay. So you see here it's dry sherba. And here we have wet sherba right okay? yep. but always you have to put this is another rule <laughs> <laughs> we have plenty of no, for those we, playing we, at home right we are this very down. serious with that. i i yes i gathered <laughs> <laughs> so pay attention <laughs> uh, you always have to have here dry uh, sherba okay okay so my grandma told me when i was a little <laughs> when i was a toddler he told me that the first mate uh, it's very strong. It's too strong, so you have to take it. Mm -hmm. So I will. It's not. It's good manners to do that. So it, ah. it's another rule. Okay. 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 Makes sense. So I, I drink it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a bit cold. Hmm? Really? We we're worried about it being too hot. No, no. I'm not sure. Wait, because I I put before a bit of uh, cold water. Oh, well, that's right. So. That's right. Well, are you ready, Carl? I yeah, sure, sure. James Hartfield. James Remember. Hetfield, yeah. James Hetfield <laughs> drinks this, then I, it must be good enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> <Your face. laughs> well, it's it's not like anything I've ever had before. I know. It's not it's not unpleasant. It's just different. It's different. I've never ever had any that flavor before. I mean I'm trying to think of things that it's like. Yeah, I, it's I saw, totally different. I saw in the groceries here that you have like a gun. A gun? No, a, a gun. Welcome to America. Uh, like a <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called uh, mate, mate with uh, bubbles. I oh. don't know what is that. That's not mate. This is a mate. <laughs> we have American versions of a lot of things. And, you know, they're usually just kind of dumbed down. This is not like that at all, though. No, no, no. This is mate and it's sherba, water, and a pumpkin. And That's so, all. Now, the other thing that you were telling me before is that this needs time to cure and kind of season over a few days. There are a lot of mates, like the the, uh, the cups. Mm -hmm. And this is the traditional one, and you have to cure because it's a pumpkin. Right. So you have to leave uh, the, um, uh, the sherba all the night, and then in the next morning you have to... The burp. <laughs> <laughs> well, you scrape it out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sherba and throw it out. Okay. And then the other night, again, that three nights. Three nights. Three nights, and then you when can it's use new. it. When, when it's new, just, just there. Okay. So when you drink it at home and you have one that's fully cured, you'll drink it and then you'll discard, you'll scrape it out yes. and then you'll just put it yeah. away. Yeah, we, we use a lot of sherba. I would imagine. You're <laughs> yeah. a professional at this. So, I mean, I know that yeah. you must. And <laughs> now this is something that of sherba you, we would just, you would just drink you and I as we're talking. Okay. Is that is that correct? Like you would yeah. just kind of back? Uh, I'm the cebadora. So I, it's one person that put the water always. It's not like, so I drink, it's one me, then then you and me. And I, you. See. So, okay? I see. So ah. it's uh, short, the it's like... There's not much volume in there, right? Help like, me. 
there's not a lot of liquid in there because okay. you're only so, pouring a little bit. Yeah, that's the the funny part. So How? we can the the thing is that we are talking about something yep. with the mate in the hand and yeah. Mm. I'm getting the like aftertaste of it, and it's like it almost reminds me of matcha a little bit. I, I was missing the mate. <laughs> <laughs> I had two well, days you, without I was going to say, when you're used to having, yeah. how long can you pour it into the, keep going with the same amount that you have? Oh, till you have no flavor. Oh, gotcha. So yeah. at some point so, it's so hot water. It, yes, mm -hmm. I got mm -hmm. two liters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you'll, you'll have to pee by then. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> But it's healthy. So. Yeah. Which brings me to today's sponsor, the Sun Joy Smokeless Patio Fire Pit. As we head into warmer weather, this small portable fire pit makes backyard gatherings easy. Made of rust-proof stainless steel, the portable fire pit utilizes a design which allows for secondary combustion, keeping smoke production to a minimum. All that really means is that you spend less time dodging smoke and more time making s'mores. And the fact that it's lightweight and portable means that you don't need a permanent fixture in your yard. You can place the fire pit wherever you want and store it when needed. The fire pit comes with everything you need except for dry wood and some tinder with a waterproof cover and fire poker allowing you to get started with the fun right away. And you can save a decent chunk of change by using my code CARL15 at checkout. And if your kids are anything like mine, you could use that extra money towards marshmallows. My entire channel, as an extension of owning fewer, better things, is all about living a better life. And there's no better way to do that than to spend it with the people who you love. And having this little fire pit makes it super easy. Just bring it out from the garage, set it up where you want, light your fire, enjoy it. And once it cools down and you can get rid of the ash safely, you can put it away. So you don't need to build some giant thing in the middle of your yard. Anyway, go and get yourself one. They're really great. And be sure you use my code CARL15 at checkout to save yourself some scratch. Thank you very much to Sunjoy for sponsoring this video. All right, so we have our mate. We're good to go. What we do on, on Coffee with Carl is we will talk about um, products that are new, right? So I, talk, I, I send myself oh, a list of mm -hmm. stuff, and more or less, I just kind of look at it and say, okay, I like this, I don't like that. And with your design background... It'd be interesting to see what also, you think about some I of these things because I picked yeah. out some some weird ones this this week. Okay. Uh, and, and I didn't even know you were here. So, our first one this week, um, Carhartt came out with their collection of it's T-shirts that are are about the national parks, and we were talking about Yellowstone National Park. Okay. Um, and so this is this is what they have. See here, this goes to see. You know, I think uh, some of it goes to the National Park Foundation, um, and then they have some of these hats here. So this is kind of a new thing that they're going to be doing for a limited time. Okay, and you have uh, for kids too, and women, all yes. the sizes. Yep. So they have them for kids. They have them for women. They all kind of come in these these interesting colors too, because mm -hmm. I think they're trying to match the vibe of the place. So Yellowstone is yellow and Denali uh, is, you know, like these very you vibrant. You change the vibe. Yeah, you change the vibe. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So they have a couple of different things. Um, now, Carhartt, you know, the brand is are they. Of course. OK, yeah. it's not in Argentina, but I, I know it. I, yeah, I love it. OK. I love Carhartt. Yeah. So they, you know, they they do a lot of interesting stuff like this. I mean, it's <laughs> it's pretty cool. And I think that if you were into the uh, national parks, that this would probably be a, a slam dunk for somebody who likes it. But, you know, what do you think? Something that you would you would buy? Yeah, of course. And I'm a tourist, so <laughs> <laughs> buy all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's a pretty that's a pretty safe one. Next up, this is a company called Weatherwool, and Weatherwool uh, is a small company. A guy named uh, Ralph owns it, and his big thing is now. By the way, am I supposed to like drink that till it's dry, or am I supposed to just like take yeah. a sip? If you if you have a, a sound. It's no problem. It's okay. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Well, uh, so Weatherwool. Weatherwool is a small company. Their big thing is that their wool is some of the best in America. It's actually, um, some of it I know is made here in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. um, and they came out with this. This is a new model of theirs. They don't usually come up with new stuff very often because they're such a small company. Um, but this guy here, this is actually, this is a uh, Cody. He's trust in timber on uh, Instagram. And he does a lot of their like, it's made of which fabric? Or, or it's, wool? it's wool, yeah. Oh, so. so this is like a, a heavier wool. And it's a simple, 
it's a simple design. You know, you can see it's just buttons. I like the large pockets mm. because you can put, I, I don't know, in the picture, are gloves there, in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the neat thing, I too. I could put a hammer there. What there's, you could put a <laughs> hammer in there. <laughs> Maybe your grandfather's a shoemaking hammer. <laughs> they have these side entries. See here? Yeah. So what's cool about it, too, is that like it's it. not only top enter, entry, it's side entry as well. So you can actually put your hands in there to keep them warm if mm. you want to, right? But... It's a $500 jacket. Okay. It's pretty expensive. You know what I mean? <laughs> now, something like this, I mean, you could kind of get something similar uh, from other companies, but like a Filson, but, mm -hmm. and you might pay a little bit less, but I like the idea of supporting the smaller maker. Yeah. Uh, it's like small brands, they, they put everything of their own, their, their soul on the product, so. Right. Too. <laughs> well, yeah, and that's the right because when you're and you know because you know you have gaucho boots, it, your that so much of your heart goes into that, right? Yeah. And when you're a big company, you're making something going. Huh, will this sell this season or not? You know what I mean? No, and it's like, not a business. This is not a business. It's like something emotional to me. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's closer to art, okay. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they did a nice job. I really do. And I, I don't know if it comes in a couple of different colors. Oh, looks like it comes in blue. And charcoal, so you can get a couple of different colors. Charcoal, that. yeah. So that, that color? This would charcoal? be this would be charcoal, okay. and uh, the other one was it uh, denim indigo would be more like 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 jeans, kind okay. of bluish color. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, I do too. I like that. That's a handsome looking coat. Next one. Next up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. I like it. <laughs> you have to come back. You have to come back. You have an open invitation anytime. <laughs> I mean, it's it's only a fifteen a fifteen hour flight. That's it. So Just that. yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. We'll always have fresh matcha. I like traveling. <laughs> this is a company, um, and I really don't know uh, exactly what the background is, but I do know that the company Cockpit USA sort of bought this company. It was an existing workwear company called Payday, and they brought back some of their original designs from like way back when. You can tell like this stuff looks like you know old school, right? I mean, look at the Look at the, the hickory stripe, you know, railroad Awesome, yes, style. I like it. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't photograph it particularly well because those lines make it like, you know, <laughs> like crazy. But um, it's a pretty cool design, and I love the way these have raglan sleeves on them. Did you notice that? No, no shoulder. Ah, uh, raglan, see? Sí. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. I know, yeah. I know. So, yeah, I like it. Yeah, me too. That's It's a little bit different. I, I like this. So they kind of have a... Do yeah, they these, have overalls in this? Overalls? Yeah, I think they do, actually. Oh, I want one. You're looking for a pair? Yeah. I think, There you go. Overalls. But overall with uh, with long... Uh, uh, help me. Sleeves? Oh, you're looking for coveralls. <laughs> ah, that. Coveralls. So it's like the top with yeah, the sleeves. Yeah, for working. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like that. <laughs> and the bottom. I don't think they have that. No, this would be... what They, they would, should do that. Yeah. What's weird make. is... You would think that overall would mean overall, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, we, we, at least here in the States, we call overalls with the straps, right? Like this. Like this. Like that. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a pair okay. of overalls, right? Yeah. Even though it's not really overall, I mean, you're missing your shoulders and everything like that in your arms, but that's what this would be considered. And what you're talking about would be considered a coverall. Coverall. Yeah, which is okay. confusing. Now that confusing. I think about it, it's kind of confusing. <laughs> but the only thing is that I would say... These are actually a little bit high priced for what you're getting. I mean, you're looking at $370, $380 for unlined work coats. So what we're looking at here definitely is not something that somebody's going to wear on the railroad or any place like that. It's just not right. This is I mean, it's nice and it mm -hmm. looks like they've done a really nice job with it. But um, I don't really Let's see the Perhaps details. Perhaps it's, it's too expensive, yeah. It's a lot of money, right? Yeah, like, yeah. nobody's really going to beat up on that, you know? So, and it doesn't even tell you a whole lot. It just says, angle stitch detail on cuffs, wide pockets. It doesn't say a whole lot. So, you know, what kind of denim is it? Uh, I mean, the stitching looks really cool. They did some nice embossed snaps there, but we, you know, I mean, I see some triple stitching on the main seams, and they have that really cool pen pocket, but to me... Yeah, I would rather go to a company like Carhartt or Dickies or whatever and get. Oh, you have a pocket for the pen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's cool too. Mm. I like it. 
Is that worth three hundred eighty dollars to you? Mm, no. Yeah, I know. see, that's what I mean. So I think okay. it's a cool. Uh, I think it's a cool piece. And again, no lining. It's not like it's lined in wool or anything. Okay. So it's a cool piece, but uh, it's too much. Too much money, for, okay. I think. That's just for men. It's, yeah. Just... Well, I mean, women could wear it too if they want to. I actually want to show this next thing to you in person. So <laughs> there's a company called Homestead Brand. Homestead Brand is actually three former Knicks employees who uh, left Knicks, their grand, or their grand, their general manager. He's a, he's a grand guy too, and his name is Grant. Um, <laughs> and he, you know, so, he, <laughs> so they left to start their own company where they're making leather bags, wallets, all kinds of stuff like that, right? Okay. And in the beginning they said, we would love to do a collaboration with you. And I said, okay, cool. And we're gonna look at the first the first look at it right now. So this is one of several. Uh, we're we're doing them in. This is American bison leather. Oh, bison! Shrunken I bison. Love bison. So it's, you know, it has that. It, since it's shrunken and it's not stretched the way most leather is, it's actually a denser. You know, it's very dense, but it's still nice and flexible. It's right? flexible, yeah. That's... Because of all those little like kind of veins in there and stuff. This is natural texture. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's just, it's all, it's different too, so you have the pebbling here is like finer, and you have some like the bigger stuff here, you know, and it's like, they look back about here. That. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, like I love the fact that they did it like this, and then this is Veg Tan uh, from Wicked and Craig up here, yep, and then those are uh, hand, you know, Hand hammered uh, brass ribbons. Yeah, and this rivets. is handmade too. You know yep. these these lines. Yeah, they have a machine. They pull it through that has like rollers mm -hmm. in it and rolls that 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 cool line exactly. in there. Exactly, I love it. Yep, and then the interior. And the edges. Yeah, they they use they treat the edges nicely. This is also cool. The buckles you don't have to really use them if you don't want to because they have oh. those snap. <laughs> I know, right? Yep. And then it's you open up. Magnet. You open okay. this up like this, and then it's unlined inside too. So you have like just the back side of the leather itself. What now the pockets here. Oh, you have a lot of pockets. There's a, yeah, yeah, there's two pockets on the front here. I like a division. A, a divider for ah. yep, yeah. <laughs> a division. Yep. Yep. But okay. they also I like the fact that they have that they put these pockets here. And the matter of fact, they uh this this design was was purchased by them from a company called you could probably pronounce it better than I could, but uh. I think it was Vermilier Pell or something like that. How do you? Write I it? will look it up for you. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, they actually they purchased the, the designs from him. Uh, he was a, a bag maker and uh, decided he didn't want to do it anymore. And so they they took those designs, made them their own, tweaked them. Thank you. And uh, so this is our collaboration. Will be the bison leather because that's that was uh, when they asked me what I wanted to do. I was like, can you do any bison? And they said, I think so. And they got this. Good but, choice. <laughs> them. But this is the first look at what will be the Carl uh, Homestead brand collaboration. Let me just look up. That. I see you. Mate with Carl. You can change the name now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I just ordered all those mugs that said coffee with Carl on them, too. No, I love coffee, too. But Mate, Mate. This one here, I want to, I want to, uh, I'm not going to say anything. I just want to, I'm going to scroll through the pictures and I want to. <laughs> Get your your feelings on it. My right? feelings. Yes. Okay. Without 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 adding any of my own. It's different. I like it. He's he's making fashion. Fashion. I like it, but you don't like it, perhaps because you are more traditional, perhaps. Well, I do. I like it. You do. Yeah. I I I wouldn't use it like that in the picture. <laughs> But I can make it work <laughs> with a belt <laughs> well, and high heels and it'll, like, uh, so, like a dress. <laughs> well, OK, oh, yeah. then you're just completely reimagining it. <laughs> uh, but this is a company called uh, Capital and Capital is known for doing crazy stuff, like okay. crazy stuff. Matter of fact, um, I won't do it here because it just, it'll take a little while. But they did one a while back, which was all these different fabrics on top of one another and they called it um t-core material like t-core fabric okay it was so different so you need core fabric. yeah and now i love seersucker seersucker is great but why are you cutting out the elbows <laughs> who's gonna wear that i mean that's the thing 
And who's going to wear not that? You, no, you not you. No, not me. No, absolutely not. <laughs> yeah, for, and who's going to wear that for $1,300? They're making them. People must be buying them, what? right? What? That's the price? Yes. Ah, okay. Ah, now so now you don't want to put a belt around it. No, no, I don't, I don't think any chance. I can, I can cut my, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my blazer. You, you could. You could. That's now, it. I mean, look, I give the company credit for trying something new and interesting mm-hmm. because it's like, you know, it's something different. But no, I'm not buying that. I mean, like, no, it's it's too expensive. If you took a thousand dollars off of that, I still wouldn't buy it. It's you know what I mean. <laughs> it's a lot of money. But I do appreciate you are you are much more forgiving than I am. But you 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 spotted it right away. They're making fashion. That's what they're doing. Yeah, they are making fashion. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're right. Okay. Drink your mate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mother. <laughs> Here is um. Something that I really like. So Sashiko fabric is really interesting. I'm, I mean, have you seen it? It's uh, let me see if I can find a close up here. It almost has a. Yeah, it doesn't fit that that mo- the, the model. Yeah, it's yeah. The, uh, an, uh, a larger. Well, uh, it's a it's a slimmer. It's slimmer. It's a slimmer fit, uh, and he's a bigger guy. Yeah. 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 You're right. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. This guy's he's kind of built like I am, as a matter of fact. He's uh, he's he's a he's a he's a portly gentleman. Um, and that's the problem when you try to wear Japanese stuff, because Japanese stuff is cut for Japanese people. Okay. And they're typically smaller, smaller boned, slimmer people. Mm-hmm. And so when somebody like me or him try to wear something like that, it looks like we're like busting out of it because yeah, we're not built that do, same way. I don't like that. Yeah, it's you can see the buttons are pulling and stuff. But, but the, I shirt, like the shirt, I, <laughs> the shirt in and of yeah. itself is pretty cool. And I love Sashiko fabric because it is so different. Like this yes, kind of it. woven type of look here. It's also nice because it's somewhat breathable. Like a beehiver. Hive mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Yeah, like a honeycomb. So. Type of pack. <laughs> I know where you're going with that. It's all okay. right. It's all good. Yep. Yep. Honeycomb fabric uh, yeah, it's really type cool. of look. And Studio Dartisan, which is the company that makes this, is um, is a, one of the Osaka Five, they call it. And that's like... Osaka Five? Yeah. Yeah. More or less, they're just a really well-respected Japanese company. So you know that when you buy something from them, it's typically going to be very, very good. Japanese people make so cool stuff. <laughs> and, you know, they really have like a higher standard of yeah. quality and finishing than we do here, which is kind of yes. sad. I wish that well, I, not everybody, because definitely some people have taken a note from the Japanese playbook and made American stuff that way, but they had to do Japanese it first. Japanese do something different that I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I think it's beautiful. I, I think they did a great job. I even like the color, which is this sort of like brownish black kind of worn look. You know, it's not super dark black. And that price... It's not that bad. The price is expensive. It's expensive. But, but if you're going to treat yourself with one thing that's going to be special, you know, and that's what we always talk about, right? Like, I like it. nobody's going to buy this and have this be their everyday shirt. That's too much. Um, but some people like to buy something like this and have a different type of... Um, option in their wardrobe, right? All right. So I typically have in my in my Coffee with Carl series, I always try to like throw a little bit of a curveball and I have like what they would call like a weird pick or something that's just a little different. So same like with the uh, capital thing. I just want to click on this and uh, see what you think. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sorry if you like it, but... <laughs> I have to be honest. <laughs> that's no, what I want. Be horrible. honest, please, please. What do you think? No, no, that that pattern. The pattern. No. Yeah, I don't. It's not fun. I I want. Well, you know something, Carl. No. There, there's market for everything. <laughs> and if someone wants to wear that, it's okay. Well, you're not everything saying it's okay, but I I should. You're not I saying should. that they wouldn't wear it, but are you thinking that um. This wouldn't be something that if if a guy showed up to take you on a date and he was wearing <laughs> and he was wearing those no. those pants. Not even a chance. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Why pink? It's pink. Yeah. It's like a, an army pattern. But to be pink. fair, it's mango. It's mango husk. It's not pink. It's, it's mango. <laughs> 
<laughs> Barbie in the army. It's, a, <laughs> it's inspired <laughs> yeah, it's by French workwear. Look, right there. It says it right in the first line. It's, okay. it's inspired by French workwear. I guess the French <laughs> were blending in at candy shops or something. I don't know. Or among mangoes. I don't know. No, it's okay. You don't like it? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> I, I like to have a something that's just so bizarre, but you know, you know what's amazing about something like that? It looks funny here, but so, okay, and probably everywhere. But I'll bet you that somebody, thank you, somebody somewhere will buy it and put it and together. It's okay, if you like it, buy it and wear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But somebody will put it together in an outfit, and it's going to look dynamite. I bet you they will. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I've seen that before. Even with those capital things. I mean, it's like, who would... That's crazy, right? Um, but then somebody will wear it and just rock it. And it looks awesome. This is growing on me. I gotta say, I'm actually, I actually like it a lot. One thing I noticed... You're understanding how is the... It's a communal... Uh, uh, how do you say? It is like a... Um ceremony mm -hmm. <laughs> something no like you're that. right you're right it's the ritualistic it's like a ritual yeah, yeah the ritualistic nature of it is really cool but it started to mellow a bit in the beginning it was sharp and it started yeah. to yeah we, we should uh, change a bit well we can um <clears throat> translate me please <laughs> I, i'm with you i got you i got you i got you we have a spoon like we we threw a, a bit of sherba and put new one. Oh, to refresh the yeah we flavor. refresh the flavor mm -hmm. so i did notice though you have to take short little sips otherwise it'll burn your lips this 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 straw gets pretty hot oh my gosh girl <laughs> now you make me feel like you feel like I'm wearing pink <laughs> pants, huh? Yeah, I have yeah, those. Those yeah. are coming in my size. I'm gonna wear those, and I can't drink my my. You know what? It's not hot. It gets hot when you drink a lot through it. It's not hot. Mm. No, I, I think it's really cool. I love the fact too that it also does look like a pipe. It looks like a pipe. <laughs> you want to smoke? It does. No, Hang on, a minute. It's, it's, you just wait a minute. Damn. Oh well, I got this. <laughs> look. Not even close, Carl. It's similar. Look at it. Look at it. You see? Okay, put it inside. It's very... <laughs> so then what you do is, I take the mate, you take the pipe, and then we switch. You know, we don't have tobacco here. No. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I try not to smoke up here. And as a matter no, of fact... I don't smoke. <laughs> it's been a long time since... I mean, it's been years since I've smoked a pipe. Um, I like that pipe. Yeah, it's not bad. I have a really cool one somewhere that I can't find right now. It's uh, made of wood. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool! Mm -hmm. I like it. It's uh, I think it's Mirsham, I believe is the name of the wood. It's hard. What, um, the, what is Mirsham? Okay, I believe it's, it's a the type of wood. Oh. And the idea is that it can be very, very hot on the inside, but it doesn't really get hot on the outside, and it could hold. You know what I mean? Because sometimes oh. you got to remember, if you use the wrong kind of wood, it'll literally catch fire. And that's why they would they would use um, corn cob, like a corn cob pipe. Yeah. Um, also does the same thing. This is in Spanish. Uh, maybe I got it there. I don't know. Mm. I like it. Mm -hmm. Give me my so, latte. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I originally began smoking a pipe because my father would take me out and when he would fish. He loved to go fishing, right? So we would go to the woods and I, I just told this story like last week. We'd go out to the woods. He would go fishing mm -hmm. and I didn't really want to fish because I was a kid. And I, he would tell me I could go exploring and, and walk around. Then he would have his pipe and, you know what I mean? And it was to keep the mosquitoes away. Right? Ah, also well, so, we need that in Argentina. It's plenty of mosquitoes. Oh, right really? There. Yeah. I don't know yeah. what's happening. I, oh. I can't even walk from the, uh, on the street. It's plenty of mosquitoes. Really? Yeah. Ugh. I don't oh, God. Know. <laughs> well, and <laughs> he would story. tell me, he would say, listen, you can explore, but make sure you can smell my pipe. Mm -hmm. And if you can't smell it, you went too far, so come back, right? Mm -hmm. So as long as I could smell his pipe, then I would be oh, there. Yeah, so I that's why I started. So, cute story. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I started smoking a pipe. But again, it's one of those things that I mean I do occasionally, a couple times a year. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's really honestly more for the smell and the aura and the whole kind of thing. And what about the mate? I like you it. I think it'd be a great companion. You feel the same? Uh, I think I'm talking a little faster. Does that have caffeine in it? <laughs> Mateina, it's similar. Yeah. 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 I feel like it's got. I got a little. Uh, I got a little pick me up. It's 
a bit addictive too. It's what? A bit addictive. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Are you sure this is legal? How'd you get it on the plane? Mm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell that this. I have no <laughs> No, this is really, really cool. I just need to know how to make it properly because I will just screw it up royally. Um, we have a lot of brands. This uh, I didn't know this brand, but I I, I like the packaging. <laughs> so so okay, all right. It's you, organic, uh, by the way. I one. see that. I see that. Yeah. No, I love it. I love the fact that it's just like the real deal. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's got all the uh, stuff on the side here. I'm looking for caffeine. Ah, caffeine. 112 milligrams. Yes. When, uh, when we are a, 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 a little bit sleepy, mm -hmm. we drink a mate and... <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah. But then again, it also kind of lends itself to good conversation, right? Like sitting around, feeling energized, drinking this, <laughs> talking to one another, right? It's yeah. great. We always have mate. We always, in every conversation, every time, whenever you want, you have mate. Yeah. It's like a cigarette for well, Argentina. It, I mean, it's very, it's definitely a cousin of tea. No, it's definitely it's similar not. to tea than anything else I've ever had. If I had to describe to somebody what this is like, I would say it's sort of like a tea. No, I don't say that. <laughs> No, it's not like the. It's, I really it's was. Mate. It's like it's stronger. I really strong. wasn't. Okay. okay. I wasn't. Okay. But you can't explain and to a, a somebody kid, uh, who's let, never let had me it. Try. All right. Go ahead. A bit dry, <laughs> strong. Uh, sour? Is the sour? No. A bit sour. Bitter, maybe? Bit. Yeah, yeah. That's the I wouldn't word. say sour. Yeah, a little bit bitter. Like, like, a, like a coffee would be. In that With same no, type no of sure. way. I almost feel bad. I mean, I'm not even going to start making any more uh, uh, equivalencies because you just keep going. No, 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 not at all. That's exactly what it's not like. It's like everything but that. Okay. <laughs> you can oh. find Sherva here if you want to drink mate because this will not last too much mates. Uh, oh, no? Okay. No, perhaps for two weeks or one week. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, this is something. So will people just like have this in their cup holder of their car, driving around, adding water to it and drinking yeah. it? Yeah. Not with this. Well, like, I know. Right. You're a thermo. thermos type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like a Stanley one. Yeah. You know? yes. Yeah. 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 We do that. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and I, I love the fact that you brought it here and we were able to do something a little bit different, too. This is so cool. I want you to have mate now. I will. Okay. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna bring this to work. I'm gonna bring because that's where I that's where I need it. Remember Metallica. I know. Huh? I know. I'm feeling like <laughs> like I'm, a heavy I'm, metal. Yeah, I'm feeling it already. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eugenia, thank you so much for being here with us. And you know, we have another. This will come out this week. But we have a, another conversation we did that I'm gonna kind of edit down and put a couple of other things in. So there's more coming. They're gonna see more of you where we talk a little bit more about your boots and all that stuff. But. Uh, why don't you just, uh, can you just tell us one more time where people can find you and your work if you, uh, if they're so interested? Okay, Gauchos Boots in, on Instagram or Eugenia, mm -hmm. <laughs> the shoemaker. It's my, uh, my other Instagram. It's more, mm -hmm. uh, I put like um, different stuff. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and gauchosboots.com. Mm -hmm. That's my website. Gotcha. Perfect. Okay. Can you leave us with a... Uh, 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 something in your native tongue. Ay, gracias. Please, <laughs> please. You speak you bueno. speak Spanish, and it sounds so nice. When I speak it, it sounds like you're hitting Ay, a cat with a violin. Eso porque para mí es un alivio poder hablar en español. Ay, lo que sufre hablando en inglés. <laughs> I don't know what that was, uh, but yeah, all right. I'm not understanding it. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody's gonna translate it out there. I mean, like he, she yeah. called you an idiot to your face. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but no. you will know. Ah, you you will know. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, well wonderful. Saying. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. No, muchas gracias. En serio, Carl. Well, thank you very much for coming. I hope you enjoy your time here. You have a few more days here in Connecticut, so. Yeah. And, you know, you hope you can. I really, I really love Connecticut. Yeah? Yeah. It's like a, uh, like a. Like a movie. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you were saying that on your way up here, like certain things you had never seen in real life, like fire hydrants. No, just on TV. That's so <laughs> cool. I mean, to me, that's fascinating. 
You know? <laughs> to me too. Yeah, I'm glad we're both <laughs> <To> here. <me. laughs> yes, it is. Yes, yes it, it is. is. That's I so cool. It. I really love it. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. enjoy the rest of your time here and have a safe trip home. And you have an open inv- invitation to come back anytime you want. Okay. So when you're in New York next time, you know, showing off your wares or whatever, um, and you want to come up, make sure you do, please. Okay, thank you. You too in Argentina. I, you go. I would love to. You okay. kidding me? I would love to go down there. I would love mm-hmm. to see it. It'd be awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. Perfect. We'll make it happen. Okay. <laughs>